There is no other. There is no Vishnu and no Narayan who dress himself with peacock feathers, a crown of peacock feathers. This is only this sweet Krishna of Vrindavan, sweet Krishna of our Swamini. He belongs to her, but only if he is uh, crowned by a crown of peacock feathers, that makes him the sweet boy of our Swamini. Sorry to disturb. Nihon no minasan, tsuyaku hajibemasu. I'm starting a Japanese translation back channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We say of Krishna many places that he's the one who's, whose desires are fulfilled. There's nothing that Krishna desires which is not fulfilled. And so we also know that the meaning of our Gaudiya Vaishnavism is indeed that Krishna becomes Manjari. So this is in a way, um, what should I say, a confirmation that he will become the servant of Radha, he will become the servant of her love in the, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes, if we if we look this Krishna, he is also like he fulfilled also the desires of his mother, his father. He become there also like a servant of love, no? When we see Mother Yashoda, how sweet he is there. And even uh if others try to to uh explain Oh, but he is the, the, uh, person, the highest person. He is God. He is the personality of Godhead. He is Narayan. They will not believe mm. because it's a son or a friend. In Vrindavan, Krishna is completely different because he is, uh, bound by love. So only love can control the this Mohan. Mm. Yeah, divine love, love for the divine. No. Okay. Mm. This is uh, Krishna with the crown of peacock feathers. He is so attractive to everyone and especially to the Gopis and to our Swamini and also the Sakis. But we, we are uh, something special in that case that we are really focused on our Swamini and the seva, service to her. And because of this, we can, if we Remember her foot dust, we will get this rasa. This is uh, uh, underlined by this, what is now coming, the Kama Denu cow of the perfection of Rasa. It's under this verse. Perfection of Rasa. Up to that, there is no more. This is the uh, uh, Summum Bonum. The quintessence school, they've also sometimes said. Mm. Yeah. 
Yes, Mahatmaji. We can continue. Uh, I was feeling into this crown of peacock feathers and <laughs> feel that it um, confirms for us exactly as you're saying that Krishna is is in this loving form that that we call Mohan in in Vraj here and and how do we know that because the peacock only the the male has these big beautiful peacock feathers and what do they use it for they use it for attracting females for this love dance if you've seen an interaction between male and female peacocks when the females come around the male gets very big he fans all of his peacock feathers out he kind of dances around a bit moves around makes certain moves and this is the love dance this is the mood of Mohan, this form that we are worship, that we are, or that our Swamini is worshiping here in Vrindavan, and so his crown is full of peacock feathers, full of loving exchange. It's not full of gold or jewels. It's entirely mm. focused on this fun, loving rasa dance. Um, yeah, uh, very nice. Yeah. It's a symbol. Yeah. As you said, a hint. I love that. Everything, every every mm -hmm. word. Yeah. I also um, really felt yesterday we shared a little bit on the word worship. Um, for all those uh -huh. who worship it, it being the foot dust of Sri Radhika, with a festival of loving emotions and what does it mean to to worship to worship something i feel that to worship means to be totally focused sty bob entirely fixed all of our senses in whatever it is that we're worshiping i think about like the artis are a great example what do we do we offer fire this is our sense of sight so our sight is totally focused all we see is this foot dust of sri radhika we offer sounds with bells and um and other instruments and so this is our our sense of hearing all we hear is this foot dust of sri radhika all we smell when we offer the incense, all we smell is this foot dust of Sri Radhika. So our all of our senses are focused on this festival of loving emotion. And this festival of loving emotion is us living in these loving feelings. So we put all of our senses, everything that we use to engage in this material world in these loving feelings and live here and this is when the foot dust of radharani takes us to this position that uddhava revealed for us this position of the manjari mm. she is like our idol is it Idol, is it mm, idol? Idol, yeah, yeah. He's like the idol of the Manjaris. Wow, we are, uh, we are bewundern. Was heißt das? Amazed. We, we are amazed of her. So she's our idol. And like, uh, in the material world, some has also idols, like a music group. <laughs> and, uh, they are, <laughs> They have all, they know everything about this group. They, they know the, exactly the age. They try the same hairstyle like this music group and they t-shirt they have with the, this is my idol. And, uh, they run behind them, even like their shadows, every concert. And, uh, if they can catch the only a glimpse of of a view they will be there they are waiting the whole night for the when the idols come maybe with a big car 
So we also like in this for our Swamini. We will catch every moment, every single drop of, of her lotus feet. We will get and we she is in our heart like these idols in the material world and even more. And we remember the whole day on our Swamini and so that makes our relationship even so sweet to her. We have no no time to think on other things. She is our idol. And this is the beauty of the Manjaris. Jet. We have uh, her signs everywhere. You see here, it's also an idol of the Swamini here. I have with me here. And uh, I have to tell you a, a very short thing. I was amazed uh, because we had a, a, a big festival here in Golokadam Temple. Sachinanda Maharaj, he was here. So, and uh, because we was in uh, Bohini at Chakshu's place, we, we not visit the festival. But today I uh, I took darshan in the temple. And there was, the whole temple was decorated with the signs of Sri Rathe. The whole temple. Pictures of Sri Rathe everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, then I, I heard from the devotees, that the main topic, uh, the whole festival was Shirade, Shiradika. So that was, uh, I was, I never saw in the Iskon temple this, uh, one pointed. <laughs> so I, you can imagine all pillars everywhere. There was the signs of Shirade. And, uh, I heard that. Uh, Maharaj is uh, now last times many time on Radako and then also uh, with Vinod Baba. So and he brought all this uh, this uh, pictures of Shirati. He brought with him, and so the uh, disciples decorate the whole temple. I can send. A, I made a film. It was really. I, I was entering and I was, oh, um, amazing what has happened here. <laughs> Surprising. Some, uh, some Radha Dasi was here or what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, uh, yes, this Mataji told me that they're, uh, this is, uh, we're the very first time that they make this uh, topic and even behind the asana of, of, uh, of the Swami, there was uh, a, a big image with only Radhika with some Manjaris. <laughs> very special uh, when I, uh, my feeling was very, I was very happy to see this because it's actually, they, uh, the temple is under the mood of Lakshmi Narayan. But now it becomes, the last years it becomes really sweet and sweeter. And it looks like that our Swamini is uh, smaller than Moha. But the newer days, uh, it looks that she is growing <laughs> on the altar. <laughs> Now she become close to same size. If you see the old pictures, you see there is a big distance. But in newer days, it becomes more small. And even the pictures in the in the um, in the temple room, there there was a sponsoring. They have uh, from a, from a, a very famous artist. There are ten or twelve new pictures. And it's mainly in this sweet mood of Rata Mohan and uh, Manja and, and Swamini is very prominent there. It's because so, of you and Suniti. Yes, sure. But uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Bring but uh, I, 
what what i see is uh this um this growing of feelings and that makes me very happy when devotees enter in the feelings and after 30 years of uh of more or less vaidi the sweetness is uh coming and uh the emotions uh, this is the desire of of every uh, devotee that he will enter in the uh, in the feeling and the emotions and uh, yes and this was for me it was very what well, is this impressive is this a yeah. <laughs> to is this see the, the temple there Golokadam. It's uh, actually, it's, I think, uh, yes, it's now around more than 30 years. And uh, Uda, for you, Swamini came from Paris. Our Swamini, <laughs> she came from Paris, really. And uh, she, was, uh, she came directly with uh, Prabhupada. Uh, but at that time, when she came, there was uh, less devotees in in France also, and mm -hmm. so he brought uh, uh, Swamini to Germany because there was some more, and um, she she uh, she came to Singhashalam. There is another temple in Germany in Bavaria uh, with Nishingadev, and they was uh, Radha Madan Mohan was in the same temple room and that was uh, from the mood it was a little strange there and so they they were they came uh, to our place 30 years ago and uh, yes it's a, a nice story that now you're in paris and she came from paris <laughs> i want her back yes <laughs> now you have to come and ask her okay <laughs> You can stay in our house here. There's no problem okay. when you come to visit. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that I like to share this this uh, nice feelings from today I got by, by visiting Golokadam Temple. Thank you. Okay. So nice today. <laughs> Sayamai knows the temple very well. <laughs> okay, we're continuing a few sentences down with Sripad Sukamuni described there, there being the gopis, most generous love for Mohan in Srimad Bhagavat. After Mohan had left them during the Rasa dance, the beautiful gopis suffered separation from him and prayed, O oh, dearly beloved, your feet are like beautiful, tender, nicely grown lotus flowers. Wow. We carefully place them on our hard breasts, afraid that they will be hurt. Can you then even imagine how worried we are? When you roam over the forest paths where there are so many sharp pebbles, 
thorns and bulbs. You are our very life. And we feel very disturbed when we think of that. Usually, a girl feels very happy for her own sake when she gets the feet of her man on her breasts. But the gopis don't just feel such happiness when Mohan places his lotus feet on their breasts. They are only concerned about his welfare. He is dearer to them than millions of lives so they are simply afraid that he will hurt himself while he places his tender lotus feet on their breasts. Only the Russic devotees understand that there is absolutely no desire for personal happiness in the gopi's heart. But, although the gopis have no such desire, and actually because they have no personal desires. They are the most blissful. Thus, Prema remains established as the highest goal of human life since everybody naturally looks for happiness. For the attainment of this goal, one should follow in the footsteps of the gopis, and particularly Sri Radha. Here we can shut. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, dear. Go ahead. No, no. I was just going to say we can shut the book and go home because it's all said right here. <laughs> the purpose of life is Prem, is to love God, divine love. It can be given through Gopibhav directly to Krishna, but it's even better when. We serve the servant of Krishna, who is Radha. And this brings us bliss, happiness. <laughs> yes, there are different rasas. But actually, this is, we speak all the time about the highest level and the highest goals and uh, but we have to clear our own position here so we are not the gopis that's that's the point that gurudev always make we are radhika's maid servants so and this is the difference that mahaprabhu brought 
when he came in the feeling, he came not in the feeling of the gopis, he came in the feeling of the manjaris, and he entered in the feelings of Sri Radhika. So this is the most close circle in the in the Lord's world, I would say, in his uh, what he can get in the rasa. So he will in the in the kunja there are Rata, Mohan, and the closest person is uh, the Manjari. They can enter also the Kunja. Gopis cannot enter in the most private area of both. They will disturb because they have also this same or even more uh, uh, feeling to, towards Krishna. What Manjari not have. And so Radhika will not allow them to enter in the Kunja. Because that would be a disturbance, not because of her own desires, but our Swamini, she is the first Gopi, what we can say. Mm. She is Mahabhav. Now she is the if you have uh, different colors, she is she is the the uh, she has all colors of feelings. Others have also colors, but not. She is the only one who has all colors, and she is the only one who can fulfill all desires of Mohan. Others also can fulfill some desires, but she is really she is the foundation <laughs> of Vrindavan, and so. The Manjaris are exclusively serving her. Even the position of a gopi is uh, who can reach this, no? But Gurudev explained, and uh, so we need, and also Prabhupada, he many times he said, you have to understand that you are a soul, and on the soul level, if you understand this and get it in the feeling of a soul, then you need also a body. And then you start with Gopi. And then by the mercy of Guru and Mahaprabhu, you can even go higher in this to get the body of a Manjari. And Mahaprabhu brought this it's unbelievable, beautiful possibility. And why? And why is it higher? Well, why is Manjari Bhav higher than Gopi Bhav? It's because Gopi Bhav is maid servants in soul consciousness, loving Krishna, but Manjari Bhav is. The service of God loving God, of Radha loving Mohan. It's the revelation through Mahaprabhu that, that God is a, a lover, so to speak. <clears throat> but the, the divine is actually a loving emotion. It's not just a bucket of love that's dormant a lake of love, it's a flowing love, and that's why Manjari Bhav is such a, a miracle, because it, it's the mood in which we can experience this firsthand, or secondhand, I suppose you should say, because it's between Radha and Mohan, yeah. but very close secondhand. <laughs> very close secondhand, and uh, how good they have tried to explain to us in uh, in this case, uh, he become the subject and Radhika the object, and we serve the object. So b before Mahaprabhu, there there was he was uh, very known everywhere as the controller. 
but now he is even he the controller is controlled by la by swamini and that he he cannot understand to understand this he entered in the feelings of swamini and she is uh, she allow she give this and the second is also that he is uh, in the same incarnation he is entering the mood of the servant of swamini and this is the manjari bath actually jesus also make this point no? who likes to be the highest of all of you has to become the servant of you of all of you is it right in english yeah no who likes to be the number one has to become the servant of all and so we are especially the servant of swamini and in love we serve by nature everyone we have to really stop on this point it's so very important particularly in our western world our modern world where the highest value is power and possession and control yeah here here we're learning from jesus from from uh, mahaprabhu exactly the opposite yeah. the highest power is the most humble yeah and chikshasta kam uh, I, i think is explaining this yeah and the fourth uh, i've got a bridge up and the third verse We yeah, must think of ourselves as lower than the tree, a straw in the street, more tolerant than the tree, devoid of all false ego, and ready to offer respect to everyone. Amazing, huh? Hmm. The controller cannot do this, but the servant can do. Mm. some interpretations to add the line below that really resonates with me that we offer respect or honor to all and expect none in return and i feel that this yeah. is this is really the servant continuing to respect all put everyone above us but never asked or expect anything to be to be given to us or what we put out to be given back to us and this really um for me feels like a really strong point in mm -hmm. maintaining that feeling that bob of the of the servant very good again i i think about what the teaching of jesus in this case is what your left hand is is giving in service your right hand should not know this if you give No, understand so this is uh yeah. <laughs> not to show if you if you give something some service with your left hand even your right hand should not know that what she is doing and be not not looking to take back something yes that's it hmm. 
So if you if you not recognize it, if your right hand not recognize what your left hand is doing, so others will hundred percent not know it. Okay, so not advertising. Yeah, not like, I'm doing I'm doing service because others are seeing me doing service, but uh -huh. I do service because I want to do service. Yes. That not means that you have to hide your service, but uh, in in the right uh, mood. It's good also to do this service in public that you give example for service saver. That's uh, like uh, all this we read about a. Uh, they make uh, even this book is written to our uh, blessing, not to to show others what they are doing. This is a crazy idea. No, they, they write it so that we get the understanding and to get the blessing of it. Ja, aber ich, so die Essenz habe ich in mir. So davon, was das bedeutet. Das bedeutet, okay. Das bedeutet, okay. Ja. Ja. Lade, lade. So, I, I have an experience from yesterday. I learned from my dear Japanese devotees about this, what you said, how to become servant. Gurudev first said, Why we call our Srimati Radhika as Radhika? Because Radhika means Aradhana. First Aradhana. Aradhana means in Sanskrit worship. Mm. And Dika is like a Sevaka. Means Radhika means most worship person. That's why we call Radhika. Actually, Radhika is the highest servant. Mm. This is the first Guru Deva's instruction. Then, yesterday, one young Japanese devotee, Kevara Bhakti, we went to Teru Kadamba. Mm. And, and you know Teru Kadamba's leader? Here, Rupa Goswami did bhajan in Teru Kadamba. Middle of Randagao and Bhajane. One day, Rupa Goswami, this Teru Kadamba Pujari told us privately yesterday, special mercy come from Radhika. One day, Rupa Goswami want to, want to offer sweet milk. And Sanatana Goswami also came. But they don't have ingredients, but they want to offer sweet rice to Radhika. Then, one sweet Brajavashi girl came. And give boga sweet rice. Then they can offer Radhika this sweet rice. But actually, this sweet rice is given by Radhika. This picture is in Terukadamba place. Means we think we are worshiping. But this Kevarabakti Didi says, actually Radhika serves us. She realized it. And Radhika is everywhere means we try to serve Radhika, but actually Radhika serves us. Oh my God. We should serve her. This beautiful competition we have. This is also for all Radhika. Radhika is most highest worshiper, most humble person. She never expect any respect. That's why this Goranga Mahaprabhu says this verse, Rijas Uttabaji says. This beautiful realization, Radhika is Radhika, most highest servant. Sri Radhe, thank you. Sri Radhe, so nice. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. This is really mercy. It means not like a 
シニアジュニアのラディカイズエブリバー、アイムサプライズディス。Only few years devotee says realized like this. Then I feel radical is everywhere. She uses her mouth. Is. Good e v e r y c e n t r i e s just consciousness important. If we desire any moment, we want to live in Radha's foot dust, then mercy comes from sound everywhere. Just we are pay notice. We are n o t s i c k come, just waiting eagerly, then Lada show us very miracle way. Just Uttabaji always say miracle, miracle. Surprising. r a d i c a l I so agree, my dear. She's、uh, r a d i c a l i z e everywhere. We just need to notice. That's exactly what I feel too. I feel that's also the story is also a beautiful example of. Um, everything being mercy, we're not doing anything on, on our, by our own efforts. You know, even Rupa Goswami wants to offer sweet rice, but he has none. But Radharani feels this desire and presents some in front of himself. Oftentimes, for me, it's easy to get wrapped in my mind of like, oh, I'm doing seva or I am chanting. Mercy, it's Mahaprabhu's mercy, it's Gurudev's mercy that's giving us this opportunity to fulfill this desire that, we've, that we have. Yes, and then at the same time, as a Manjari, we need this. Desire to serve because we feel inside when we are not serving, then maybe they will not come together. There is、um, something h a p p e n or not h a p p e n when we r e not there and hell. We have to do this. We need, they need us, they really need our service. So, this is our heart desire to get the service because the pain is there. If we have this feeling that Swamini is needing us, we know she needs us. And、uh, so, as long as we are separate from this, there is this love and separation. It's so heavy what is Raghunath given an example there because not. For his own pleasure, for his own enjoyment, there is no, not, not to speak about this, but actually for this, because of this feeling, if I'm not there, maybe they will call me, they, they need me, they need my service to come together, or even, yes, this is,、uh, and this is also in Swamini when. Mohan is not coming. She does not think about herself. She knows that Mohan needs her because no one can make him happy like she d o All others, they think, I'm yours, I'm yours. But she is, you are mine. And no one is closer. No one knows exactly what you need. In this loving exchange, like Mother Yashoda exactly knows what Mohan needs, the small boy. No one, no other knows what he likes most or to eat, what he likes to play with, and so on and so on. Because Mother knows the boy from the start on. And so, This is a part. She knows a part. But Swamini knows the full. She also knows the,、uh, the desires of the adult, 16 years old boy, like no other. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, because of this, her desire is so amazing. And we have a similar feeling. She needs us and our Seva so much. And we have to be there. And how can I come there? What, what should I do more? I can only pray and call and be greedy for this feeling that I come and can do my service to my Swamini. We should have some pain in the heart, like this, I feel. If we are separated as a manjari, our Swamini is needing us, and we are not there. So please, please, Swamini, help me to be with you, and so that I can do my service to you. I can help you to meet your Mohan. I will prepare everything for you. I will decorate you. This is my highest and only desire. I will give up everything for this. I'm important to there. That is not the, the <laughs> of course, they, they have, uh, they are unlimited actually, if we see it from this view. But from my small view, I have to feel that they really need me. Swamini needs me, my small seva. Not only the gopis desire the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet, since she is the greatest of them all, but even Sri Krishna himself desires this. This has been shared about lovely by... Um, Uddhava and Gora this morning and is also can, is what Prabhupada says in Chaitanya Charitamrita, the Adi Lila, the beginning of the fourth chapter is one of the reasons that Krishna descended as Mahaprabhu. Mm. Once after enjoying loving pastimes with him, Sri Radhika proudly orders him to redress her before her girlfriends will notice that they have made love and will ridicule her. Sripad in his form as Radhika's maidservant, brings all the items for her dressing. Who is Sripad in this? Prabhupada in Manjuri form. Yeah? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Sripad, 
in his form as Radhika's maidservant, brings all the items for her dressing. Srimati orders Mohan, anoint my feet with footlack. Mohan places Nagaramani's Radha, the jewel of Lady Love's feet on his chest and starts the job. The kinkari brings him a brush and a cup with the liquid lac. Nagara. Here holds we see the, brush. The, the importance. Sorry, the importance of the 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 manjari. This is yeah. this only manjari can bring this in that situation. All others will disturb. But mm -hmm. the kinkaris are so loyal. They can come in every, under all circumstances and in all, uh, every moment and, uh, they can do. They, they are there. They, they never disturb the situation. Mm -hmm. If a gopi will come or a saki, it's not possible. They will disturb this. And we see that even Radhika will, don't like that the, her uh, girlfriends, that means the Sakis, will see her like this. But Manjari can see, no problem. She fully trusts, they are loyal, they are, she is her idol. Yeah, this is the Sorry, only yeah. way that Shripad can bring all of the items for her dressing. No. Yeah. She is manovistam. She knows Radhika's inner desires and exactly what she needs. She knows her heart. She can feel it. Imagine for a minute what Mohan feels here, the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is the loving over, but her lover says, okay, pal, you have to put my clothes back on me. The last thing he wants to do. And yet there he does it. The King Curry brings him a brush and a cup with the liquid lac. So actually here, Radhika knows King Curry's are there. That's why Radhika can order to put on foot rack to King Curry's. Well, King Curry can put on Radhika's foot rack. But Kinkari knows Radhika's heart means Radhika want to give serve this time Moha. That's why Kinkari knows he have to redress, but Kinkari don't move. Hmm. This is also Kinkari's heart very important part. Kinkari is not serve direct as Radha. This time Radha want to give serve Moha. That's why Kinkari goes to back and give Sings to Moha. This is the beauty of King Kari, I feel. Yes, and she doesn't need to call the King Kari. When she say, anoint my feet with foot luck to Krishna, so in, the King Kari knows what to do now, next step, right? Mm. Mm. Not that Radhika has to call, ah, King Kari, come and bring, no, no, no. Yeah, listening. Oh, no, my service is done. Yes, I can do.
the kinkari brings him a brush and a cup with the liquid lac. Nagara holds the brush and the kinkari holds the cup. Nagara loses himself when he beholds the sweetness and beauty of Radhika's foot soles. Sometimes he holds them to his chest, and sometimes he kisses them while tears of love flow from his eyes. Srimati nervously says, What are you doing? Put the lack on quickly. Nagara's hands shiver of ecstasy. So Swamini slightly smiles and tells her kinkari, Nagara cannot do it. You do it. So the kinkari softly pushes Mohan away, saying, Shum, move up. You can't do it. Thanks. Alas, when will I be so fortunate to serve Swamini's feet like this kinkari? How can I become as qualified as her. You see, this is the answer why Mahaprabhu came also in the mood of a manjari. Mm. Now he, when will I be so fortunate to serve Swamini's feet like this kinkari? So here, now we get the answer of this question, he came in this to be so qualified. Because yeah. for this, he need the qualification of a manjari. Yeah, this, this past, this Leela is a great example of how he had to come to to serve Swamini because clearly he's not capable of doing it in in his form in Vrindavan. So he had to descend as Mahaprabhu in order to to relish this this desire of service of Srimati. These are the only two things the personality of Godhead cannot understand. This is the love of Swamini towards him and the service mood of the Kingaris. Mm -hmm. He cannot understand. So, and uh, because of his nature, he tried to understand this. And Swamini uh, gave him the blessing out of her love that he can enter. In his, in her uh, mood towards him, and get the qualification for the manjari. This is always the blessing of Swamini. What a amazing person our Mahaprabhu was. Is he's a, 
a mystery for everyone. And who can understand him in this world? Many try to understand him by the scriptures and whatever, to describe his feelings. But who really can understand this person? There are the Lord himself, our Swamini and the Kinkari. We cannot understand him from the side of the Lord. We cannot, we are not the Lord. We cannot understand him from the view of Swamini. We are not Swamini. But we can understand him in the mood of the Manjari because we are Manjari. This is the only way. No cowherd boy or others can understand Mark of <laughs> The Kama Denu Desire Cow was churned out of the milk ocean by the demons and the gods, and she fulfills all desires in the same way the dust of Sri Radhika's lotus feet gives Radhika's maidservant the perfection of rasa. Within us, the, the seva, this is the service is the dust of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Mm. Our service is that dust. And the rasa is the seva ras. Within the mellow of service, these kinkaris also relish the mellow of friendship. The writers of the Rasa Sastras say that the parental mellow Vatsalya Rasa is incompatible with the sweet conjugal mellow Madhurya Rasa. But in Sri Radhika's storehouse of Rasa, there is no shortage of parental affection for her maidservants. The foot dust of Sri Radhika is thus a wish yielding Kama Denu cow that contains Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, and Madhurya Rasa.
All glories to the treasure of Radha's foot dust, which is a mine of great brilliant jewels. The gopis have held specks of this dust on their heads to become blessed with its enchanting attributes. The gopi's love is nourished when they become immersed in the forms and qualities of this dust which is also coveted by Govinda. The boy with a crown of peacock feathers even he always enjoys Radhika's service and decorates his body with her foot dust. This dust is like a spotless Kamadenu cow for Radhika's best maidservants for whom this service is their very life and who worship the lotus feet of Radha Mohan in a festival of loving emotions in a lonely bower. A spotless Kamadenu cow, so no other desire is there. 100% pure and focused Stai Bhav for Radhika's best maid servants. Solely focused on this service, which is their very life. Sri Radhika's foot dust is more valuable than millions of Chintamani gems. And my mind relishes its remembrance. Thus, Sri Pavarodananda, who finds pleasure in this intimate worship, reveals his aspirations. Thus ends verse 5. I find uh, mysterious the line <clears throat> the line in the song that says the gopis love is nourished when they become immersed in the forms and qualities of this dust
because we need to wonder and, and maybe meditate on the difference between the gopi experience of this dust and the manjari experience of this dust which are very different but it's beautiful that the, the gopis can be can take pleasure from the dust and can be served by the dust can be nourished that's a lovely word can be nourished by the dust and yet they don't fully understand it At the end of the Prabhupada commentary, it says <clears throat> that the dust has dasya, sakya, vatsalya, and madhurya ras. So the four highest kinds of emotion, the four highest kinds of ras. But the very highest one, madhurya ras, this uh, has only manjari. So gopis don't have madhurya ras. They have these other lower levels of ras. They experience these emotional juices, but not the highest. In order to enjoy the sweetness, they need to understand Radha's role. And they need to enjoy, they need to understand the way that Radha brings sweetness to Krishna. That's what Madhurya Ras means. Madhurya is sweet, mm -hmm. sweetness, and the flavor of sweetness is Madhurya Ras. And this is what the Radhika's love I think Gaura often reminds us of this, that the difference between Krishna's love and Radha's love is that Radha brings sweetness to Krishna's love, makes his love sweet. And this is beyond the imagination of the gopis. This is, this is Manjari imagination, understanding this sweetness, understanding the way that Radha brings sweetness to, to the world. Love is not a, a love is not a freight train. Love is sweetness. And it doesn't run over us like a freight train. It emerges gently and softly and sweetly from inside us. This is the love that Mahaprabhu brings us. Madura, 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 Madura. In this first verse, the gopis have held specks of this dust. So, Radha's foot dust, this loving feeling, this rasa, this bhav. Um, they, they hold fraction, a small speck of this dust on their heads to become blessed with its enchanting attributes. So they hold 
these same feelings, these same loving emotions that Radharani does, but to a lesser degree because they just have a small speck. And then when they become immersed in the forms and qualities of this dust, when they cover their bodies entirely from head to toe in this bob, this mood, this feeling of Radharani, then their love is nourished and perhaps this is when they become a manjari. And this position of being fully immersed in the forms and qualities of the dust, where they're becoming they're moving into this oneness of feelings being completely covered in the mood of Radharani as the manjari is, as only the manjari is. This position is also coveted by Govinda. And this is Mahaprabhu. We also can see that the uh, whole Vrindavan, all inhabitants of Vrindavan are depend on Radhika's foot dust. And uh, the special position of the Manjari is she is most close to Radhika. But all others are, also have high positions, even the trees and the grass in Vrindavan depends on the foot dust of Radhika. But they have sometimes darshan, sometimes not. The gopis also depend on her foot dust. But they're not always following her. But Manjaris are always, they are most close. They are with Swamini also when Mohan is not with her. And when he is with her, they are also there. So there are no others who are so close to Swamini and her lotus feet than the Manjaris. And because of this, this is the highest position a soul can get. Because of the closeness to, to Radhika. And both both bobs are needed. I'm not. It's a question for Gurudev. Maybe another day. But the gopi, I think, if I'm not mistaken, a gopi stays a gopi. Yeah, uh, the gopi doesn't graduate to Monterey. And uh, and this is okay because gopis are needed too. This gopi yes. bob and soul consciousness is part of the. Saki is also needed. Yeah, everybody has a job. The trees are needed. The grass <laughs> is needed. They all serve the Lila. Yeah. In Vrindavan. They all are needed. And uh, because of the desire and the mercy a soul gets, they will find their place in Vrindavan. And in our case, we got the Great mercy that we somehow we got the connection to uh, Manjari. This is real special that we can enter in this mood. And this has only happened to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
This, it was not before. And it's beautiful. But what you say, Udavji, there is no meaning that under others are more or less or whatever. But we are, we got the mercy of the Manjari Bar through our Gurudev. And I feel uh, so blessed by this. I mean, Jesus also had a beautiful relationship to his father. But if we see the relationship of the maidservant to Radhika, it's even more sweet. Isn't it? Yes. And so comes the the ethical question. I mean, Gaura, Gaura Sundari likes to end the class with a meditation challenge. Maybe here's one for today. What do we do now that we have this mercy? What are we going to do with it? How will we use it? We meditate on the foot dust of our Swami. And we bring it alive in our in our lives. Yes. Yes. But to meditate on the foot dust is also to enter in these emotions. I see the foot, the feet of my Swamini, and when we read that the Mohan is full of tears when he touched this lotus feet. Mohan is full of tears. So I also like to be like him. I also like to be in tears when I touch this sweet lotus feet. I like to see them and I like to meditate on them and on the, on the dust of this lotus feet also. Yes. Very nice, Udavji. Meditating. We can use this to answer the question that we posed the other day of what would my Swamini do? What would Jesus do? What would love do? And we can say it's the same. How, would, how can we use this mercy? How can we immerse ourselves in this feeling, in this bhav, in this in this mercy, in every mm. moment. Yes, and we have to become also intense in that because we don't know. What is our lifespan? And uh, maybe our time, of, of course, our time is limited. And so what I feel is to become more intense in that for me. And more intensely call out to her that uh, please listen me, please look at me, look, I'm here, please. This world is confusing me, I know, and you know also. But now I have, a, I got a glimpse, I got a mercy, and please 
don't let me waste my time with something else. Mm -hmm. Then all, only on meditating on your Buddhas, then please give me your answer in this Even if we not die, maybe there is some. Even when when the uh, uh, when the teeth are not make pain, then my meditation will be finished. Or like Niti, if I cannot breathe freely, then I only think about the next inhaling. Because I'm, I'm, my body is not working. So our time is 100% is limited. So we need every, every second. We think we have so much time, but it's, <clears throat> we see everywhere around us that the time is really limited, isn't it? So let us become intense. And uh, go really in the meditation of the futas of uh, our Swamini. Jai Shri Radhe.